So you thinking about moving to Orange Beach or Gulf Shores, Alabama, or investing in property here, or just want a vacation here? Well, today we're going to talk about dive bars. I know, Aileen, that's probably one of your favorite subjects, <laughs> dive bars. Um, it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> and what I mean by dive bar is, what I'm talking about is like the, the bar that the local goes to. Yeah. You know, the bar that, that you, when you go in there, you just about see the same crowd every single time. It looks like it's falling down. You know, some of them are a little smoky. You know, the whole entire beach atmosphere for the, for the, for the light, local dive bar. So that's what we're talking about today. So let's go ahead and get to it right now. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like button, ring that little bell so you can be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to learn about the beach life, what it's actually like to live here. You know, the beach life. So I am Andy Haas and this is Aileen Fountain. And our entire team, we do videos just like this every single week just to be informative, just to let you know what it's like to actually live here. So listen, whether it's nine days, 90 days, or nine months until you're thinking about making that move, don't hesitate to pick up that phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, set up a Zoom call. We'd love to talk to you face to face. We're not scared of you. We get phone calls and texts and emails from people just like you every single day, and we love it. So as I mentioned today, we're going to talk about dive bars. And again, what I mean by dive bars, Aileen, is I mean like the local bars. You know what I'm talking about. Just yeah. the local little smoky bar that you know yeah. you go to. I got a funny story about dive bars. You know, when I first started coming to Orange Beach, probably 30 years ago, and I said then, you know, I was dreaming about living at the beach, and, I, and this is such a cool little place that I wanted to live here. So, and I used to tell people, I was single then, so I used to tell people, I was like, you know, I want to be that guy. And they're like, what guy? And I'm like, you know, that guy, that guy that like when you walk in, somebody walks into a bar and they say, hey, does anybody know how to get to so-and-so from here? And, and they look down and there's always this one guy at the end of the bar that don't have a shirt on. He's got this long white hair, white beard, smoking a cigarette. And he's sitting there with a highball whiskey. And he says, I can tell you how to get there. I wanted to be that guy. Now, I don't want to be that guy now. My wife would kill me, but I Thank did want God. to be that guy. <laughs> He's not a bachelor anymore, folks. He had really high aspirations. Right. <laughs> but that's what I mean by dive bar. So, and, you know, most of these places have fantastic food. They've got, you know, the, the prices are usually pretty mm -hmm. good because they want to keep the prices low. So then keep the locals yeah. coming back. I mean, yeah. that's what the whole deal is, well, you know? And I moved here when I was 25 years old. So very different, you know, going out. Right. Well, first of all, some of these bars didn't even exist when, when I lived here, you know, when I was young, but, uh, but, but all of them are, are good, good dive bars. You're definitely going to want to check this out. You know, the irony is that Andy and I don't even really go out anymore. We definitely don't drink much anymore. No. So, uh, <laughs> but, um, we're always so busy selling real estate. We can't, <laughs> I mean, when do we have time to go to a dive bar? Yeah, <laughs> we don't. Uh, we're in bed at like eight thirty, up at five. Like we're we're absolutely pretty boring these days. But uh, but we can speak on this um, from past experience. Yeah, for and, the most part. And we've done some research and talked to a local expert. Um, Are you talking about Cindy? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to mention her name, but yeah, we talked to a local expert. <laughs> Who is, still is in that dive bar scene? So you know, yeah, we we bounced a few <laughs> things off of her, but anyway, we'll get right to it. So number ten, um, we can both speak on. Um, it's a good time, Charlie's in Foley. It's our only Foley bar that made the list, although there are a couple of other real dive bars oh, in yeah. Foley. There's some of them you don't want to go to. So Good Time Charlie's definitely a dive bar. Uh, it is a local um, favorite in that area. Uh, they 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 host little events. They, you know, actually we know Charlie. We're really good friends with him. And he is a bit, he's, he's a musician. He's also a fellow real estate agent. And so his band plays up there. They'll have cookouts and events and various things up there. And they also have a, a little bar menu food but really good prices on their drinks yeah nice nice dark smoky bar 
definitely classifies as a dive bar. I, th I mean, I've, I've been there several times and, and I love the place. I mean, but I'm going to tell you something about Charlie. Charlie's one of those people that if you look up in the dictionary under coolest person on the planet, yeah. there's going to be a picture of Charlie. I that's mean, Charlie's like just an awesome dude. And he, it's what's so funny about story. Charlie is, mm -hmm. is that, Char and I don't, I don't mean to go down a rabbit hole or on Charlie, but I, just real quick. But Charlie is one of those guys that you could call Charlie up and you could say, Charlie, I lost my house. Uh, I'm, I'm on the verge of losing my job, the repo in my car. I mean, everything in the world is just going wrong. And you talk to Charlie for 10 minutes and you forget about all that stuff. Oh, because he will tell you that it is going to be it's gonna okay. Be fine. It's going to be fine. It's all going to work out. If I had a dollar for every time he said the word fine, <laughs> yeah. I would not be filming right now. But that's why the name of the bar is Good Time Charlie's yep. because Charlie is just a good time. Yep. So. so if you want a good, dark, smoky bar in awesome. Foley, that's your place. Awesome place. So number, number nine. Number nine is um, number nine is actually a pizza place. It's Papa Rocco's. Mm -hmm. Papa Rocco's is really small, and they have they some like I don't know when they actually have it. You have to check on their website to see when they have live bands. But they'll have live bands there in a very small restaurant. It gets very loud. It gets very loud, but the food is unbelievable. I've heard. I don't eat raw oysters, but everybody who's ever been there to eat raw oysters says, "Oh my gosh, they're the best thing they, they've ever put." In I, I don't. Eat, I don't normally get mine uh, baked or char grilled. And yeah. I've had their baked oysters. Um, their pizza is really good, oh. and I think their slogan's "What lousy pizza?" Or it's hot beer and hot lousy, beer, pizza, lousy pizza or something pizza. like that. Yeah. It's a really funny slogan, but. Um, Limited parking there, so when they do have music, it will get packed. Um, and you, yeah, but anyway, definitely a dive bar, it's been around forever. And there's an ice cream place right next door, so when you get done eating pizza, you walk right next door and get ice cream. Just, <laughs> so, yeah, you know. <laughs> unbelievable. Um, number nine, or excuse me, number eight on number the list eight is, um, the undertow. is the undertow. Now, the undertow is a place that I do not go anymore. Neither but, do I. But let me tell you why. Is because I am in bed by eight eight thirty at the latest, and most people go to the undertow usually late at night. Um, it's one of those places that you go to after you've been out somewhere else. <laughs> you know, so or or you know. you're a staple there and you go there all the time. Yeah, like the, I mean, like, like the character Andy mentioned when you we started. Go, you go in, you see the same crowd there every it, single time. Do they still do like crawfish boils and yes. stuff there? I've heard the, well, yeah. I've had the food there. So don't let me say I've heard. I've had the food there. I've the food there is phenomenal. Literally never been there. The burger is uh, right up there with the kegs. You know, it's it's pretty close. That, that's some strong words right yeah, there. Yeah, it's, it's pretty close. The, the, the other reason I can't go in there is because of the cigarette smoke. I am extremely allergic to cigarette smoke and I Ditto. just, I can't do it. Yeah. Um, now... I've heard other people say they've got smoke eaters. It's not so bad. I haven't been in there in a while, so I don't want to say don't go in there if you can't stand cigarette smoke because it might not be so bad now. It might, my but, threshold is one puff. Yeah, I just can't do it. But but anyway, undertow is, uh, is and like I said, it's that, like Aileen just said, it's that same old story that I just said about the guy sitting at the end of the bar. It's the same crowd. It's the same crowd just about every time you go in there. So you want to get to know people, that, that's where you go. <laughs> you want to get to know a few locals. Um, number right. seven is the Flying Harpoon, and this is the Orange Beach location on Beach Road because the um, there used to be two, and the Gulf Shores location is changed names. But the one on the Orange Beach location is right across from Phoenix West 1 and 2. Um, just a some cute little, I don't know, cute's the right word, just dive bar, two-story wooden structure. Yeah. Um, I, I will tell you one good thing about there. Long time either. I, it's been about a year or so since I've been in there. But the good thing about it was the day that we went in there, it was so hot. It, it had to be close to 100 degrees. We were all just from the car to the to the door. It was like you know just stifling heat. They had their air conditioner cranked down to like 40. <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh, it was fantastic. So the you know all the drinks are phenomenal in there. Um, you know, I mean, it just, the food's fantastic, uh, everything in there. And, and again, it's another little local dive place yeah. where you go in there and you see the same crowd just about every well, time. Well, and I would there. imagine though, 
<clears throat> when season's here, they get a lot more tourists in there just because it's walking distance yeah. to so many condo complexes. I think so. I think you're so, right on that. Anyway. But great place to check out. Uh, number six is a place that I, I like. Andy, you like it too. Um, it's in Perdido Key. It's called The Sports Bar. Yes. Uh, definitely a dive bar. Um, Andy and I both like to watch sports, so it is a really good place to watch a game. Let me tell you, they probably got 100 TVs in there. I mean, it's... It, it's honestly, I mean, because Perdido Key doesn't have near as many options as Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, but right. it, it's it's a cool little spot to go And it's not out. too far a drive from Orange Beach. I mean, it's, you know, no. probably 10, 15 minutes down De the road. Decent food. Great know, food. De anyway. Uh, yeah, great it, food. It's a cool little dive bar. The wings are pretty good. They're, they're fan, you know, pretty fantastic. The burger's really good. They've got uh, cheese curds, believe it or not. And oh my gosh, they're fantastic. Um, so yeah, everything in there is really good. And then they also do, you know, they'll have local specials. That's, that's the one place that I'm telling you is weird because their happy hour, when you think of happy hour for a place, what do you think? Oh, like four to four six. Four to six. Yeah. yeah. No, not with them. It runs from like 12 to six or seven at night, That's I forget what it is. That's why it's always so busy. Yeah, so happy hour runs like five or six hours. I mean, like it, it's, awesome. and, and yeah, and so the locals go in there because they have great prices on the beer. You can you can literally get a bucket of beer. They'll bring a bucket out right. and set, you know, five or six beers in there on your table in ice. So they have pool tables. They have a great little outside area. Um, so, I mean, you know, it's just it's just a great atmosphere, really, really great atmosphere. And the food, I'm telling you, is phenomenal. you got to go check it out. It's called the Sports Bar in Padilla. Number five on the list is a block off 59 in Gulf Shores. It's not a place that you will drive by and never see or notice unless you know it's there. It's called The Cove. Um, for anyone who's been around for a long time, I mean, 20 plus years, it used to be called after hours and it wasn't spelled hours. It was spelled O U R S yeah. after hours. <laughs> um, been there many times back in the day. Uh, still like that place a lot. It's got good food. Um, great burger and it, 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 good burger. Yeah. And it has yeah. like the, um, if you're healthier options, which is nice to have. They have like an avocado char, like it's like a grilled avocado, and then they put like chick grilled chicken in it, or you can get any protein you want grilled <laughs> on it with like black beans and. A little I'm not avocado. Anyway, it's really good, <laughs> really really good. But uh, it is a great little sports dive bar. Very dark. It's not you can't smoke in there, so that's the nice thing about it is it's not smoky. Yeah, cool. So it's, it's probably why I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I mean I like it too. My. Um, my wife and I went there, I think, a couple of years ago for the first time. And, you know, we ran into, I'll bet you I ran into 25 people I knew in there. Yeah. It's like, you know, I'm like, and she's like, who are you, Norm, coming in, up in here? I'm like, no, nah, I mean, I, I haven't seen these people in five or six years. But it's like the same crowd that was going there when I used to go in there, still going in there. Oh, so, you know, that's a, that's a phenomenal part of it. Um, number four is the tap room, which used to be the original Flying Harpoon. Right. Um, now, they, you need to check this place out because I do know that they just recently redid all their woodwork and everything, added new decks and all that. Um, it, it's, I mean, and I, I see, I'll bet you, I see their Facebook post a hundred times a day. I mean, like they are, they're literally social media nerds they're they all over are in gulf shores on windmill ridge road so coming down 59 you take a right on windmill windmill ridge road and it's it's up on stilts dive bar right there on the right it's small you can't miss it, it used great to be, place used to be the original flying harpoon as andy mentioned now it's the tap room now i haven't been there since it's a tap room but i mean if they kept everything pretty much the same <clears throat> it would have to be great um, you know, so great drinks. I, they do serve food. Yeah. So, yeah. So great food. Um, so check it out. So, Tap number, room. so number three on the list is the sloop in Gulf Shores. Um, and she said that right. The sloop S L O O P. <laughs> so if you're coming over the bridge, you're going to take an immediate right and it's underneath the bridge, um, faces the canal great little spot um it's got a cool back area air back back area they get they have music there um 
I'm not. I've had their food. That's it's a little heavy for me. Like, well, I think it's phenomenal. But, but people absolutely love their food. I was just getting ready to say, burgers people, good. People love it. Philly cheesesteak. Oh God, Philly cheesesteak's phenomenal. They got great French fries. They got. I mean, everything in there is fantastic. It's very healthy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Not. <laughs> um, they've got really cold beer. I do remember that. Um, I, just, I haven't been there in a while. They they have a, a, a back area where they brought in, uh, they built a stage, built a new deck. The same guy that built the deck at the tap room built all that stuff at the sloop. I know mm -hmm. him personally. But so great little area out back. They have live bands. Um, they also have, I think they filled it in with sand. So, you know, when you walk out there, it's like, you, you know, you could put your feet in the sand. So, I mean, like, it, it's just a great little atmosphere, and it is literally a great little local hangout. All the, I mean, again, another place where I walk into and I see 25 people I know, and I'm like, oh, wow, this is where y'all are hanging out now. You know, so, yeah, the sloop. So, number two on the list is the dive bar of all dive bars. <laughs> it is an absolute staple in Orange Beach. Um, if you know, you know, it is the keg. Um, the keg is like this t tiny tin building. <laughs> it is like, I can't believe it's even still standing. You <laughs> go inside, there's not a window in the place. It is dark, dark, dark. So you never know whether it's two in the afternoon or two in the morning. <laughs> no clue. And, um, you know, it is definitely a late night hangout, although, um, as Andy uh, mentioned earlier, they have excellent burgers. Um, you can go there right now. It is, it, what time is it? Like 11 o'clock? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you could go there for you, lunch right you, now. Yeah, you can go there right now, and there's, there's, there's probably 10 locals sitting in there right now. Oh, yeah. That, and, yeah, just hanging and out. And all if day. you go in, even if you go in for one millisecond, you will come out smelling like the keg. Yeah. And and if you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't been there, you need to go. Yeah. It is. I used to say you had to throw your clothes away with you because you can't, <laughs> you can't wash them and get that smell out. I mean, you got to wash them two or three times. But the keg is smoky. It's, uh, I, I love the food. And I'm telling you, the burger is has was they, on our number one they burger. They haven't made an update to the keg well, ever. Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay. So recently, within the last couple of years, they put in new TVs. They got rid of that that old yes. school TV yes. in the corner. You're kidding. That had this much uh, nicotine on the on the screen. But this it was all it was all blurry. It was yes. it was like fuzzy. No. So they got it new was, TVs. It was this thick. It was like from the 80s. They got new TVs. They put in new carpet. Uh, when probably did this happen? A couple of years ago, they put in new carpet. They got new smoke eaters. So it's not quite as bad, but it's still it's still pretty bad. But it's not quite well, as bad. This is as it shocking used to be. news to me. Yeah, food is ne has never changed. The food's always still been the same. I mean, the, the like I said, the the keg burger. But is seriously, phenomenal. does anyone um, get anything other than the burger there? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I've had some friends of mine who got you know onion rings are are great, and they've gotten like the hamburger steak. Which you know that's hamburger steak with gravy or whatever. That's going to be the same get, thing. Just get the wings. <laughs> the, yeah, get Stick the burger. Stick with the burger. Yeah, absolutely. The burger. The burger's good enough to where my wife and I will order it. Probably I don't know, maybe once a month or something. If if we're not on our healthy kick for, we'll we'll go there. We'll order it. Go pick it up and then and then, and then you, bring it and back then, to the house. But you don't have to throw your clothes away when you get back. To no, the house. but you do but have to change. She won't go in there. She's like. I'll, she says, I'll order the keg. I'll even pay for it if you'll go in and get it. And I'm like, that's a fair trade. Uh, I'm like, okay, well, it's the same money comes out of the same pot. Aileen. Well, <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a really good way to get you to go in there. And get no, it. no. Well, you know, I, if she just told me to do it, I would do it anyway. I do what I'm told, but, <laughs> but yeah, so the keg is, is phenomenal. But again, just beware that it, it is smoky it, it it's smoky in there i just i can't take it it's a dive bar all right absolutely so drum roll to the number one the number one we had an argument over as to whether this was should considered be considered a dive, a dive bar. bar or not because i'm going to tell you old school it yes it doesn't so it's the it's the floor of it, it, it has to be come on y'all now 
The floor of Bama used to be, any of you who's been coming here for years and years and years knows that the floor of Bama used to be just this itty bitty tiny brick building. You had to walk through the liquor store in order to go back to the back and go to the bar. And that was, and then that was where I came up with the idea that I wanted to be the old guy sitting at the end of the bar with the white right. hair and, has, and that was right there. That's your, your epiphany occurred at the floor of Bama. Absolutely. Okay, but now, since everything has become so commercialized and so touristy, the floor of Bama has become the Taj Mahal of bars, you know. It's, Taj Mahal of dive bars. Of dive bars. It's huge. It's still a dive bar. I mean, that's they'll the give main, you a pen to write on the wall. Yeah, the main room because uh, there's there's three different stages, and the main room is a rebuild of the original Floribama that yes. was on the ground that got destroyed during Ivan Hurricane yes. Ivan. That was 2004. They had a terrible time getting a, a permit to rebuild. So they basically, that's where the tents were created and thrown up. Now, now the tents have been, I guess. Well, they still have a tent outside. Yeah, but they still have one but, big I, but, the, but the dome, then the tent became the dome and then there became a new tent. Right. So at any rate, when they finally were able to like 10 years later to rebuild, they rebuilt that main room almost identical to the original main room except for they added bathrooms and like kind of like a like almost like a little area where, you, where they have that what's, yep. what's the game where you throw it across the salt oh um what is that thing called i'm drawing a blank anyway doesn't matter, anyway, doesn't matter. yeah <laughs> ski <laughs> ball or whatever yeah, whatever so that that yeah. back room that 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 was an add-on but that original main room where the bar is and the stage is is identical to what the original main room bar looked like. It is dark in there. Um, you know. Now, the main room, you can't smoke in. Can't smoke in it. Thank That's goodness. That's awesome. But the dome where they have all the bands, where if you've ever gone to hear Big Earl play, uh, that's where Big Earl yeah. plays. So, and you can smoke in there, but they, and they still, they have all the bras hanging on the, yeah. a, across in the main room where they've got these, the, the wire that comes across there and people throw their bras up there. It's uh yeah, so I guess yeah, it, it, it is a classic dive it's bar. It's a it's I mean, a dive bar. It's just that it's gotten very it's a big dive bar, so it's huge. But it's also honestly one of the best bars in the whole world. They have an elevator so. in the place. It's three stories tall with an elevator. <laughs> I mean, you know, well, so but still a dive he, bar. He wanted to he wanted to disqualify its classification due to the elevator. I did. Um, <laughs> but you you cannot do that to the floor, Bama. So yeah. I'm sorry. And food is phenomenal. Uh, I honestly think that the food at the at the original floor, Bama, is better than it is across the street at the Yacht Club. And and until recently, I probably would have argued with you on that. But but the Yacht Club's food, the last three times I have gone there, has has not been as good as it used to be it is going down it's gone downhill still pretty good the bushwhacker is the same that's that's the <laughs> that's thing. Fine. but no i would agree with you that the food at the bama is is good dive bar food it is really good and i will tell you something about the bushwhacker that they have uh where you order the food in the main part of the floor of bama now they have all these different flavors of bushwhackers that you can get so you can get like a reese's cup uh, bushwhacker. Oh my God, how am I just learning that? <laughs> you can get um, uh, like a with all these different types now of. I knew alcohol they were doing the in. peanut butter screwball. Yeah, on no, as a no. Topper. They they'll do a full blown Reese cup. Like it tastes like a Reese oh, cup. Oh goodness. Um, and yeah, I mean it's, but you know, a large one with the souvenir cup is twenty two bucks. So, but hey, you know. If you only drink one, you, <laughs> you're fine. You might only need one. Well, it's 12,000 calories. <laughs> it's got to be. <laughs> so, I mean, it's 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 up there. So, you so really want to just keep it to one. You really just want to keep it to one. For multiple you know, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but at any rate, so our number one is yeah. Floribama. I think Floribama's made you number one. You knew it on, before the list yeah. even was done. It's made several lists at number one. Um, but anyway, you know, we love the Floribama. Um, you no know, doubt. Absolutely. So that's going to about do it for today's video of the dive bars, of the top 10 dive bars. Listen, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of this list. Let us know if you've ever been there. If you've got a story to tell about one of them, put it in the comments. We'd love to hear it. 
Um, if you if you think we left something off the list that we should have put on there, or if you think one of these on the list shouldn't be there, let us know. Uh, let us know everything you got, you got to say. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and uh, ring that little bell for notifications so you can be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to learn about living at the beach, you know, the beach life. And be sure and watch some of our other videos. And until next time, we hope to see you around town. See you around town.